Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor of the Tenkar's Tavern blog. So, not what I normally cover, but this is amazing in the most frivolous sort of way, the most luxurious sort of way, the most spendthrifty sort of way. This is the Dungeons and Dragons Red Dragon's Tale. Lego set. Now, a mere $359.99, I believe it goes available to the public. Uh, today's the third. I think it goes available to the public tomorrow, April 4th, with 2,340 Lego pieces for 18 and above. It includes six minifigs. Oh, inside a point is 2,340. 3,745 Lego pieces. Now, I'm going to see if I can... Oh, I can't zoom in on this. Gosh darn it, it's on my second screen. However, you can see on the right-hand side, they have a beholder. Obviously, the red dragon. But you've got different views of what you have here. And, like on this piece here, I don't know if you can see it here. But, well, my pointer is, that's a displacer beast. There's a little, uh, oh, down here. Down with that little blue thing. That looks like a gelatinous cube. Uh, there's a lot of little uh, charge keys, and this is one set, different views, and of course you can break off parts of the set to have your little dungeon entrance. Uh, I'm guessing that is a wizard's tower, maybe? I don't know. Uh, you know what? I, I loved Lego as a kid. I've been tempted as an adult. This would probably drive me insane. But damn. If the stuff doesn't look good. You need that. Right? Just like you need that. Um, you definitely need that. Look, you got the cleric there with his holy symbol. I guess maybe... Me, me, oh, that must be the uh, orc thief in the background. Oh, of course. We got them hanging out in the pub. Even better. Even better. Look That's at, more for you. Look at that. And they've yeah. got the, the the they've got the proper drinks. And all right, so I'm not a five E player. I'm not big on the Dragonborn, but they even have a Dragonborn. Uh, I guess that's one of the six mini figs. That's how they're gonna get you in there. Oh, so now they got a, a thing of the figures here. They got a a skeleton, uh, a beholder, wizard, Dragonborn. Um, your your cube, gelatinous, uh, a dwarf maybe, displacer beast. Uh, I believe it's an orc thief. I'm not sure what's hidden uh, behind this thing on the front there. Oh, there, that's a dwarf with a one hell of a flail. So. Um, that is, and they show, I guess that give you a, a sense of scale. I, I, definitely, you know, usable on your, uh, on your shelf for display. It's not so huge. They show them, uh, playing with it at the table. Now, you do know that you can never let something like that pass you by. If you're if you're watching, so let's get Watsy has Dungeons and Dragons Red Dragon Tale, a Lego adventure, and it's Lego art. Again, it's just something special about Lego. It, it it brings it 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 makes me all verklempt. It makes me speechless. I love I love Legos. 
I love what they're doing with this. Um, I love the internal art. Now, credits. Wizards of the Coast. Product lead. Our favorite individual at Watsi, Kyle Brink. Yes, Kyle, the one that said there's too many of a certain type of people in, in D&D &D and we should go. I, I guess we had to replace ourselves with Legos. I, probably feasible. I don't know. You tell me. Um, adventure designer Christopher Perkins. I think Chris is now the most tenured individual at WotC, um, having survived the latest purge. I don't think anybody else has uh, gone beyond. And is that a short stint too, or no? That's no, I, he's long term. He's, he's like long term. Really long -term. He uh, Chris was uh, oh. Chris was with the company, I believe, at the end of two E. He might even oh. be. He might even be someone who got uh, picked up when they when Watsy bought out TSR. So he might. He should be, if anything else. Uh, Watsy before Hasbro came in and bought out the company. So, you have a 20-page adventure, 20-ish page adventure. Now, here's the thing. All right, so now you're thinking, well, they're aiming it at Lego. No, they're not aiming it at kids because the characters here, the pre-gens, are fifth-level characters. So I was thinking, you know, you're going to give this little freebie adventure away. You can use it with the starter set. No. Your fifth edition core rule books, player's handbook, DMG, and monster manual. Or, and this is interesting, I give them credit. If you or your players haven't played Dungeons and Dragons before, and why you would spend $360 on a Lego set if you didn't buy uh, a DD rule set ever before, just curious. Um, there is a section at the end. You can run this adventure as a storytelling experience without the D&D &D rules. The without D&D &D rules section at the end of the adventure tells you how. Now, as an aside, this is totally free. So I'm going to include a link to Watsi's Red Dragon's Tale, a Lego adventure. I will pin the comment so you can go and snag this. For free. I, I would, honestly, I just would like a, a poster of that cover art without any logo on it. I think that'd be pretty cool. I, I could, I, I just, maybe we're going to get a Lego movie, right? We had like, what, Lego Batman? Um, maybe we'll get a, a, a Lego D&D &D movie. Now, that could be interesting. Hmm. Who knows? Folks, there's a link in the bottom of the screen for 10 cars dash tavern dot games slash WFRP. Not in Cincinnati. That is uh, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. There's about 20 hours left on that link over on Humble Bundle. Uh, so it's a time limited. It's been up for a couple of weeks now. If you haven't snagged it yet, snag it. It's a good set. It's got the Enemy Within campaign in five parts, and these are huge parts. Uh, it's well worth your dollars. And when you shop at Humble Bundle using our affiliate link, you support this channel. So, yes, it's an affiliate link. Um, other than that, there's a live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Myself, Bad Mike, Bill Barge. If you think the second half of the show might be, I don't know, this week and watch you stupid, uh, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Might not just we might go back more than just a week, but you know. So if 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 you enjoy some shot in Freud at the expense of Watsy, please tune in. Like I first half of the show, it's at eight o'clock. We start. We'll probably be talking about the latest pace sort pace setter games, uh their new Kickstarter. Which I believe is New Beginnings. It's a 5e adventures for starting or kicking off a campaign. But, you know, then we devolve into our uh, sandbox of, I don't want to say debauchery, but 
feeding off of our live stream audience, throwing things back and forth, and talking about stupidness in the hobby. And trust me, there's a lot of stupidness in the hobby. So that's tonight, 8 p.m. So I'm recording this on Wednesday, April 3rd. Yeah, we didn't do any April Fool's jokes because you guys are too smart for that shit. All right. As always, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice. Roll them well. Back again tonight, 8 p.m. Hopefully I'll see you all there. Catch you all later. Be good.